What is up, Galafam? I hope you are having a fantastic day. Thank you for stopping by the video, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and it is the world's greatest, most epic, unbelievable, amazing, huge loot farming raids perhaps you've ever seen. Yes, we are going to show some highlights from recent raids that just absolutely devastate the opponent. Now, this base was obviously extremely easy. Yes, don't rush. But you'll notice that Sneaky Goblins and Super Wall Breakers can do it even to the hardest of bases. So a slightly tougher Town Hall 12 right here. But now this one I've actually shown in replay form. So this is not the original live attack. The reason being, I wanted to break down some of the epic moves right here. This is how you think on your feet. We're talking about the farming version of 300 IQ moves. Unlike Tribe Gaming, we're out there trying to get max loot instead of max stars, and it's happening just about every single time. I told you guys last episode that I'm still having a blast doing this, and yes, believe it or not, Super Goblins and Sneaky Wallbreakers are so amazing that they just never get boring, they never get old. You may beg to disagree, but I disagree with your disagreement. Okay, wait, what, what, watch this. Okay, as we roll in here near the end of the raid, what's happening? We sent in every last Sneaky Goblin, followed by an absolutely flawless invisibility spell that covers both of the gold storages so that the Sneaky Goblins can wipe them both out. But wait, there's more. One building remains in order to achieve the perfect raid, and it is an elixir collector on the other side of this wall. Watch this. You ready? I did not see this until it was almost too late, but we ran in and dropped the invisibility spell on the wall as they roll through. Here comes the jump, invis, they go, there goes, and that goes. I mean... I just, I, I can't even, you know, it's a good thing I don't have to cast these things because I'd just be speechless and sit back in amazement of my own skill. I, it's just, I don't know. I, I, I have so much fun with these raids, you guys. I know that sometimes people say that Clash is too easy, but you know what? Just make it a challenge in your own way. Try to grab all of the loot. Try to find the biggest raids out there. I mean, you'll notice that every single raid we're finding right now is incredibly large. And we're going to go up against Town Hall 14s. That's right, 14s as a Town Hall 12 and try to get every last shred of the loot in this base. Do I sound too excited for somebody who's just doing simple repetitive farming over and over and over and over again? Maybe, but I don't care because I'm enjoying it and that's the thing. Ultimately, it's a game and you should be having fun. And if you're not, then maybe try a different strategy. Try starting a new account, playing a different account, whatever it takes to have that enjoyment because when games like this go from fun to a grind, unless you're feeling that sense of accomplishment, you're doing something wrong, right? You should be out here having fun and believe it or not, even farming two Town Hall 12s, we're still having a blast. Now, a big part of it is, as I say over and over again, like a broken record, hanging out with you guys on Facebook Gaming. Those of you that come by the live streams to watch these raids live, you make the time pass faster. And why not, if you're raiding, come by the live streams as well. Maybe even watch a live stream that's previously recorded. Ah, uh, that's right. Tricky little trick there. It's true. On fb.gg slash realgaladongaming, every single one of my live streams is available as a video on demand. I'm talking about literally thousands of hours of live streams okay yes i've been live streaming on facebook for a long time now the community there is amazing if you can't come and interact with the chat at least stop by and check out the videos because they can get pretty crazy all right there you can see that was yes another epic insane beautiful perfect whatever you want to call it invisibility spell and we have to just kind of pan out and just take a moment to admire our handiwork and say yeah you know what maybe i am one of the absolute best farmers in the entire game of Clash of Clans. My spell timing and placement when it comes to Sneaky Goblins and Super Wall Breakers is second to none. I have achieved the pinnacle. And Okay, but anyway, it's, it's just, it's fun to do. Okay, you guys probably want to see some upgrades. And believe it or not, we're definitely getting a lot done. You can see here... This was a problem, okay? We ran to full gold, full elixir, with no builders free for over two days. So we had 50, five, zero hours of upgrading before any builder would come free. And this, you know, hey, I can't stand it when this happens because we are free to play. But good news, 
The League Shop is here. We have all of the hammers already in our inventory. So why not go ahead, you know, just pick off a few. Three, four, five. It's not that many League Medals. Maybe it's a whole season's worth. But you know what? It's probably worth it to save a couple of days of upgrades. So now we have five Builder Potions. So there we will be shaving off. Actually, I think... Given what time it was of the day, we're going to do four of these instead of five so that we can wake up in the morning right around the time that the builders come free. That's another thing to think about. Why waste the fifth builder potion if you're just going to sleep through those final hours? So plan it ahead. Think about it and uh, you'll be efficient like Galadon. Okay. Speaking of efficiency, we make sure that we get walls done because we don't have a free builder just for walls, like some players say is good, but for me it's not because of the number of raids I do a day and because of the number of accounts that I have. We try not to keep a builder free, we make sure that we do the walls first, then we do the upgrades like the Grand Warden, like the Archer Tower, and there you go. You can see, once again, we're low on loot, and we use a Rune of Gold. So this, by the way, was because we've got another Rune of Gold coming up because we have the Gold Pass. I Yeah, eat your heart out. Uh, no cash clash. Sorry, free-to-play players, but the gold pass, it's huge. It really, really does make a big difference. And once again, like I say, if you can only spend ever $5 to scrape together, use it on the gold pass uh, and, and use code Galadon before you do if you could. Okay, here we go with one of the worst feelings in Clash of Clans, and that is when you log on and you're being attacked. Now, the problem with this is twofold. Number one, you'll see a massive amount of loot being lost, but number two... The guy that's attacking knows that I'm watching him, and if he crushes or three-stars my base, then he can kind of snicker and say, yeah, guess what? You watched me destroy you. Well, guess what? My town hall is going to survive this raid. Even though you've got your big, massive army of E-Dragons, we are going to be okay. Now, I realize that we lost like 90% plus of the loot, but there is a saving grace to this, and that is, of course, that the town hall is a storage. He only gets a one star and your E-Dragons just can't quite take out the troll base. Now, he did, of course, do the smart thing, and that was he attacked from the opposite side, not going after the troll trap, which might have reduced the amount of loot that he grabbed. So, you know, kudos to uh, BUB right here for taking apart the troll trap base and uh, making me feel a little bit bad. That's a lot of loot to lose. So, yeah, that's why our raids have to be big as well. Now, this is interesting here we are again we just spent all of those builder potions and now we have about 30 hours where we can't do anything so it's time to break out the sneaky goblins and super wall breakers and start raiding non-stop until those storages are full once again but for today maybe you've seen enough attacks let's move on to the status report and check out where we landed now things haven't really changed that much in the past two episodes the trophies and the gems are relatively consistent and the points each season don't really matter other than when you're trying to get to that next discount if you have a bunch of loot ready to go uh let's see what else oh yes the hero levels the barbarian king i know i said we were going to get him maxed out but we need about one more episode so Let's leave that goal up. In the meantime, oh. you guys made it to your goal, which was no doubt making it all the way to the end of this episode so that you would be known as true hashtag Galifam and be the ones that I love, think about, and appreciate every single moment of every single day. So get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to of the people, animals, and the planet. I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. What, Peter? What? I have nothing to say. Uh.